I can't go on with this. I'm an American. I'm an American. I love this country. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Hey, this is Las Vegas, baby. Do not take product if you are hypersensitive. Talks Good Podcast, and this is episode 25. 25. Big 20, 25. And this is the sixth installment of the movie group. So is obviously... It, is it six or is it five? Six. Because we did a full cycle? Oh no, five! You're right! Yes. Derpity five. derp derp derp. Four of us in the Reddit. That's right. So Reddit gave us this masterpiece. Yes. This Thank you. This dumpster fire. But obviously, you, if you're Reddit. new to the show, let's all introduce ourselves. So I'm your host, Sarah. You know my voice. Mm-hmm. This is what Sarah sounds like. This I'm Evan. I'm Corey. I'm Jen. And, yeah. we. So we've been doing these movies, and Reddit picked this movie for us. And I would have never watched it otherwise. Because no. we watched... Double down. <laughs> yeah. Never heard of this movie before at all. Well, rightfully so, probably. Yeah. yeah. This received uh, no advertising. Yeah. <laughs> Sadly, I knew about it mainly because I listen to a lot of podcasts or uh, watch YouTube shows that talk about bad movies. And this is one that I've seen on uh, things like Red Letter Media. And yeah, so I knew going in it was not going to be fun. Yeah. It- I've never experienced anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, know it was real, real bad. Yeah, real bad. I think I prefer the room over this movie. Oh, hundred yeah. percent. I didn't yeah. think that was ever possible. The room was a breath of fresh air compared <laughs> yeah. to this. They made the room look like an Oscar winner. Yeah, yeah it really did. Yeah, so let's get into it. Let's get we? into it. Uh, we're, we're we are drinking, but we're not drinking we, anything in particular. No, I'm drinking leftover vodka from the She's All That podcast, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. flat soda water and Red Bull. I'm drinking tall shit. I'm drinking water because I drank all weekend. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have some Mill Street. That's I just want to say, and thanks to Corey and Jen for trucking through this because they just got back from camping and yeah. i can only imagine i don't camp but i can only imagine what i would want to do is just shower a lot and sleep a lot <laughs> after getting back from camping so thanks guys for Not for enduring no worries this but let's get into it so and i i also should add you can find this on youtube if you want to watch this yeah it's super easy to find <laughs> yeah. just type in double down movie yeah. because otherwise you'll get a lot of kfc commercials and right and so yeah. Yeah. yeah, I will say a uh, big thing about this movie too was that it was picked up by Netflix, kind of in the early. I guess earlier Netflix had had this in their library, really, and that's where it kind of gained a lot of its, what? I guess, viewership. Yeah, it's not there anymore. Wow, no, I don't think so. I mean, maybe it's on YouTube, like you said, it's on YouTube, and nobody's probably to take it down. No, they're just like, eh. I didn't even check to see how many views it had. Probably, I, didn't even I know, that, but. So yeah, Real so bad. and yeah, I think we touched on it. Right, we put this up to Reddit, being yeah. that because the movie group picks a movie uh, every cycle around, one of the movie group members, we threw it out to Reddit to pick a on the bad movie Reddit. We threw out, hey, pick a movie for us, the one that gets the most upvotes. We'll review, and boy, do we regret that decision. But. They, you guys all suck. <laughs> yeah, they really stood up the game because this literally is probably the worst movie I've ever seen. It's pretty bad. It's probably the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah, it feels like a just, very long, like, <laughs> tutorial or, like, <laughs> like, a video that would be, like, showed, like, in, like, high school or, like, yes. uh, like yeah, high school vibe, something. yeah. It's like an edu- it's like, like one of those weird... How yeah, to like be an edu- a biochemical terrorist. Yeah. But still love America. Yeah. That's so weird. Yeah. And Decorated by every metal they could <laughs> give you. All eight of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, Jim pointed out, it's like, he got every metal and there's eight? 
Because he was like yeah. naming them while he was like showing yeah. on his oh, chest. Man. So okay. bad. So I guess we'll get into the movie, but this is going to be looser than usual. Uh, We're just, I yeah. say we just open up because the whole first part of the movie is him describing himself. So yes. let's just talk about the character. I think his name's Aaron, Aaron. Brown. Brown. Aaron. Brown, that's what it is. Okay. My name is Aaron Brown. The best computer scientist in the world. He was yeah. great, first in his class. And yes. computer science. Yes. And he's and a, then fighter. a fighter jet pilot. Yeah. yeah. He was a... F- <laughs> like, he's so many things. And it's he's ridiculous. between two worlds. Yes. Yeah, he said he's between two worlds. I was the first in my class in college in computer science. I joined the military and became a fighter pilot. And won many medals for distinguished service. I've always lived between this world and the other. Don't really know what two worlds. The world of... Love and the world of espionage. I don't. Like, I don't mm, know. That could be it. And he's a mercenary for any nation. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But he's the mm-hmm. best agent the U.S. ever had. Yes. And he controls every government through computers. Even from my little simple, brilliant setup. Or oh, he worked for I believe it was the uh, Defense Intelligence Agency. Yeah. Or something. It kind of felt like he was reading off his resume. Like, <laughs> like his fantasy resume. Like, like if I was the most badass yeah. person in the world, this is I'd be top of my class, and I'd be a fighter pilot with all the medals, and and, I, and I'm the greatest hacker that ever lived. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, I have cybernetic enhancements. <laughs> yeah. Are you really trying to beef up his LinkedIn? The fact that I became so individually, electronically powerful scared my government as well as others. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's... I have an invisible shield which will kill anybody. <laughs> we have to talk about that in um, great length. I, I just want to add before we even get into him. I said my first note was opening credits, never ending story. Don't know why. Yeah, oh, because like, like flying in, the clouds, yeah, the flying, like, yeah. the unnecessarily long. I like, love that movie. I love that movie. Too. Why don't we review that? Oh, movie? maybe we will. That's not a bad movie. Yes. Wow. Yeah, but can't we just give ourselves a break? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we owe ourselves something good to look forward to after you do this. Yourself, give yourself a break in your own time. <laughs> I'll tell that to him. He has the next pick, I think. Oh, you owe me. Oh, yeah. God. Well, that... Yeah. I'm sorry. But anyways. <laughs> so... <laughs> also, his fiance was killed because he was such a good hacker. <laughs> <laughs> Did we see some ball sack there? We do see some. I didn't see it. Really? I saw ball yeah. sack. Oh, yeah. It's, it looked, yeah. But Corey had to point it out to me. Oh, you didn't see it? I saw it after Corey oh, was like, I think that's God. ball sack. And I was like, oh, yeah. this, is ball sack. this movie's yeah. finally getting good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we also have to say, okay, so on top of his resume, he also, so he's a freelance, he says he's a freelance agent. But he also says he's a mercenary. But all the money he makes, he gives to <laughs> yes, charity. children's charities and relief funds. I've been giving away the money to children's support charities all over the world. Orphanages, hospitals, and schools. And to support the evacuees of natural catastrophes all over the world. Like hurricanes. Like Katrina. But later we find out that he has planted around the world these fail safes that if he dies there'll be biological attacks on the city causing massive death and I'm like so you give your money to relief funds by think but you're going to cause a bunch of massive like, right. things that need relief like it's this guy has some issues yeah. <laughs> is he schizophrenic or something but then he's just a simple person I'm just a simple person all I wanted was to be happy and in love Raising a family, contributing my knowledge to societies all over the world. I'm, oh, gosh. <laughs> he eats can, tuna out of a can and yeah. lives oh in his car. Oh, my God. I don't need much to live on anymore. I just eat tuna out of the can and live in the car. Yeah. And if you were that he would just good at your job, you would be tuna. able to afford a better lunch. <laughs> but he gives all his money away. Yeah, he gives all his money away. <laughs> and and he sleeps in a bag in the desert. Like... But if Joe don't sleep in the back seat, I think he gets frisky in that bag. Which I, is dead uh, yes, yeah. that scene, I was like, something's going on under there. Anyway. Because he was like, 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like all the sex scenes in Big Brother. Like, I know. I know. Seeing people move under blankets. If anybody's listening to this and doesn't like, and like, they're making no sense. Well, this is the movie, and it makes as much sense as us explaining scene by scene what's going on. Like, it's insane. I put it on Facebook. I said, if you like dumpster fire, like a movie that could double as a dumpster fire, watch Double Down. Oh yeah, it's 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 hilarious. Like anyone who likes bad movies would get a kick out of this. Yeah. Oh, I was I was laughing out loud at yeah. some scenes. It's real bad. And uh, and it's just too much to go through. It is. We might as well. We can do. And there's very little scenes. We'll have to go over some scenes just because they're hilarious. But oh, there's there's like a handful of scenes. Most of it is him in the desert, just talking about how crazy he is and how. And he has a oh, and you definitely know he's anti-government in real life because he's all yeah, about like yeah. how the wars are now like going to be played over like the internet and biologically it's no big explosions. Like yeah, we kind of knew that. Could run you know this gov- this country better than mismanaged governments. And- yeah, I, I, I think he it, has great power and he's so alone. I've been given this great power, but I'm so alone without the girl I love. Yeah, yeah, that's a big I'm, theme too. Yeah. Yeah, but also he does. I, you can tell this guy like he hates the government, and he's doing this is like a fantasy. He for him, he wrote this being like, "What if I controlled the government because they're such a holes?" Like that's what this seems like yeah. a guy's yeah. fantasy of being the most powerful man in the world who can manipulate any government he chooses. He did use Trump Towers as a hooker. I did. Notice. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. And then that's where the call girl was calling from, which we're pretty sure is a man. We'll get to that scene. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a man. Yeah. Yeah, but pretty sure that was him. So many things. Like Just he couldn't so find things. anybody else yeah, to act yeah. in yeah. this movie. His family was like doing it because they like, love him, and yeah. that was it. <laughs> and two, like, there's constant shots of stock footage, but like the stock footage doesn't make sense. No, he'll no. be talking, and I'll like do a close up of an eagle's face. Yeah, or like oh, a close up of a rock, or like a close up of like some scenery that's like really far away. But also when he when he's like, oh, I've been uh, biomechanically upgraded or whatever it's a picture of like an eye surgery yeah. where it's supposed to be yeah. like oh yeah this is- cataracts <laughs> yeah. Mo- removed yeah it's probably something <laughs> very basic but we're meant to believe oh this was his surgery where he got his bionic upgrades or whatever it was that we never really see come to play like nope. And whenever it shoots to him doing his thing like quote unquote doing his thing it's always him in a car with like four laptops around him, yep. just pushing buttons. Yeah, like, but doesn't with, look like with, he, just. It's almost like they're just like, just act like you're doing something on the computer. Just act oh, like. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! He wrote and direct this. There's nobody yeah. oh, okay. him here. He's, 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 he's telling himself. <laughs> yeah, that. our actor but, also was the director, writer, and oh, musical shit. supervisor. So, oh, I liked the music. The music. Good job on you that. can tell he's just like, what can I find that doesn't have a patent online or is like in the <laughs> yeah. public domain? Yeah. Perfect. I'll put this in the movie. But seriously, five like. Lives. Laptops and six cell phones. Six cell phones. Yeah, yeah. We should go over his what can, everything he needs. He needs. So he has two sat two satellite dishes. Two satellite, satellite dishes. dishes. Five laptops. Six cell phones. Is that six cell phones? And, and he controls the world with this. And he has bio terror weapons. Bio terror. Everything I need is always with me. Satellite dishes, five laptops, six cell phones, and bio terror that he creates. But it also shows people give him, like, he does exchanges to get certain weapons, too. That was like, so awkward, that one scene where, like, the hands just come out, and, like, and then the other hands come out, and, like, and then they just linger there. Yeah. You know? And then, and then like, at one point, the guy drops a thing of anthrax, and he's like, that's anthrax. Don't touch it with your hands. Like, the acting, yes! too, is so oh, And then they so drop bad. it, and he's like, kill them. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, that's, well, we'll... We'll definitely talk about that scene. But I I, say, governments don't dare to try to kill me. Yes. Yes, because... Uh, He has bombs set up all over the world, which will unleash bioterror weapons (laughs) all over the world. I did not believe him. But yet he can end wars through his computer skills. Yeah, but... (laughs) Because of his computer science class. Mm. Yeah! I I I also want I also want to say, which I remember here, back to the tuna thing... When it shows the scene where he's eating tuna in his car driving and it shows his lap, 
is he getting any in his mouth? He has his lap. It's just so <laughs> it's Have so... you ever eaten dry tuna? I... It just falls everywhere. And I truly feel if you're living out of your car and you don't see any humans, you probably don't give a shit. Probably yeah. just like, I'm going to eat like this and, no, and I don't No care. one's going to judge me. No one's going to see you. <laughs> your dead <laughs> wife right. is judging you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we should talk about his force. the back seat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we should talk about his force field. We should oh, talk yeah. about it. You so, missed, you, wait, hang on. Okay. He met the love of his life at seven. He did say that as well. Yes, that's, that's right. That's very important. Seven years old. He met, met the, the love, love of his, his life. life. Which when I'm pretty were, sure were played. And they were together forever. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure they were played by his children. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> but also, we see this. He does actually show us him falling in love with his seven-year-old counterpart. Like yeah. him as a seven-year-old with this girl. And they're playing on a playground, which I'm yeah. like... How creepy is that? Because you know that was just he put those two kids there yeah. and was only him with a te- with like a camcorder taping like, them. Okay, now hold your sister's hand. Yeah, oh, God. and like people are like, "What is going on over there?" Like, and it was interlaced with shots of them as kids and then them as adults in the same areas. And I'm like, yeah. "Bitch, you mean to tell me you guys haven't moved? <laughs> like, there's no way." Yeah. Like, you meet the love of your life at seven, cool. But you're gonna move eventually, right? <laughs> Maybe not. That, that part. That part pissed me off. But uh, yeah, the, we, just that one thing. <laughs> just that one thing. <laughs> the rest of the movie was a masterpiece. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, the force, the force field shield. We should say. Yes. So first of all, can he go invisible? I disappear. I become invisible. Because yes. he says about he can go invisible, but he never uses that ever again. Like it just shows a guy coming after him, and he's invisible at one moment. <laughs> I feel like he just had all these crazy ideas and was like, as he was creating scenes, he would be like, this would be cool. Yeah. And then just, I'm just not going to be behind the camera for this one and I'm invisible. Yeah. yeah. I, I go visible. But then it shows a scene where like a guy with a gun that's coming after yeah. him and walks through his apparent force field and he just like dies. He's like, <laughs> yeah. ah! And dies and falls the ground. I want to see the alternate scene of that where you just have like two people going for a hike in like yeah. a desert. <laughs> <laughs> just walk through this invisible shield like what the hell oh, I'm dead yeah. <laughs> like yeah. it's just weird like can he pick and choose who he kills but he did no, have I mean, a lot of people buried like that hand buried in the desert yeah, yeah. yeah the, the desert was full of arm. his dead bodies yeah yeah. he's like the government won't send anybody to kill me and then it shows multiple people trying to, to kill him yeah 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 <laughs> But it's okay. He changes his license plate. Oh, yeah, that's yes. right. He can become a different person, that, that, and he just changes his clothes like Superman in a bathroom. <laughs> like, sure, yeah. then, everything. I think he tries to really touch the audience when he's like, where are you? Where am I? You are, where are me. me. Where are you? Where am I? You're me. Yeah. I'm, just like, I'm so, so confused by that. That's it's another like, thing I think right? Neil Breen has going on. I think he's one of those guys that thinks he's deep, but really he's not. Like he's like a guy in like a grade five student thinking that he can write a poem or something. Like this. yes, that's what it comes off as. <laughs> this is where I wrote Evan. It was like very slow hand up of our transaction of vials from that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just like slowly, awkwardly. Yeah. It shows him like poison fish to try out his, his poison. They must yeah. have spent a fortune on fresh fish to try to like <laughs> throw them on the dead on the. Well, beach. some of it was stock footage, yeah, but, yeah. and then probably the rest was like he just went to like the grocery store and was like, "Leave the heads on the fish and sell them to me." I'll just put them on the coast. <laughs> I do. I think this is. I I periodically wrote things that Jen was saying out loud when we were watching this movie. So I have them through the the rest of this, but one of the first one you said was for a crazy awesome guy he can barely walk down rocks. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's, like, like, he's, not, he's like fairly fit too. Yeah, he's like, mediocrely fit, but he could not he climb up it. those rocks. I know it I'm was like, a struggle. Yeah, he's just like I just put it in. I don't. I need to pad this to an hour and a half. Like put he in is, all my. Like he's wearing walk. he's wearing uh, like cowboy boots, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and jeans. You know, I feel like cowboy boots would be difficult for rock climbing. It would not be ideal. And Jeez. Yeah, it just seems like he has two outfits. I like, you know, the black tank top, you know, no sleeves, jeans. Mm-hmm. And then jean tank top with all the medals. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's his fancy dress uniform. Yeah. That opened, was opened up. Totally. Yeah. Totally opened. Yeah. No shirt. Well, yeah. when we get to the vest scene, that's just hilarious. Did we pass the scene with the... Like, yeah, we, we passed the scene with the fish dying we, in the lake. Yeah, well, like, that, kind I, of. It's all... I think it's all, like... It's all... We're kind of just there right now. But when he, when he was doing that, it, like... 
showed a close up of a of a fish. That was clearly stock footage. Oh yeah. yeah. Was yeah. anyone else really nervous for that fish? I was like, yeah. don't introduce me to this fish and you're just gonna kill him. <laughs> yeah. But luckily they didn't they just show him showed him swimming away. So maybe he's survived. Yeah. No, that fish dead. Oh fuck. Well, well it will be dead by now, probably. <laughs> all those, all them fish did. <laughs> so so I think we can get to our first scene that we can talk about, and that is the marriage proposal. God! <laughs> Just, at, the, at the nude resort? Yeah. Because it comes <laughs> in, it's stock footage of a resort, <laughs> and people are all in the pool. With their clothes on. With, the, with their clothes on, but then it cuts to Neil Breen, or sorry, whatever his name Aaron. is. Aaron. Aaron Brown. Aaron Brown. We don't know his, what, his uh, girlfriend's name, do we? I don't think no. so. It's fiance's name, yeah. I so mean, is she really his fiance if she died a second after they? Well, she said, said yes. yes. She had a good thirty seconds of being engaged to me. I'm so happy. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> so we get the stock footage of a nude resort, and then it cuts to Neil Breen and this woman in a pool. She's wearing flesh colored like thong bikini. No, was it or was she? It no, was. when they went to a close, she she looked, she looked nude yeah. at first, and then they did a close up, and it was like flesh color. Oh, there I was, thought she just had a bad yeah. tan line. Yeah, I thought so too. But then they zoom in. And yeah, it's, very, could, it's yeah. like the flesh colored. Yeah, Material. and he's naked, and she has no top on. But they keep intercutting with a close up of their faces together, and then when they do a, a, a out shot, it's her totally sideways because she's like, "I am not showing my boobs for this." Yeah. Like. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, There's yeah. not enough money you can pay me in the world yeah. to no. show my boobs in this piece of shit movie. Yeah. No, no. Good for you, whoever you are. <laughs> so he proposes to her. She accepts instantly and then goes into a monologue about love almost. We'll always be together. I need to know that something extraordinary is possible. Like, I can't wait for our lives together. We're going to be so happy. Yeah. We're so Aren't in love. Aren't your lives happening right now? <laughs> yeah. And she is sniped in the back. <laughs> What's interesting is that for a second, you know, there's red dots, like, on this guy's temple. Mm. And yeah! also, I'm like... Gonna- was it gonna kill him? So it seems like you had a pretty clear shot at killing him, and you're like, "Nah, we're yeah, gonna kill his girlfriend." I wonder if that mm. there was a weird theme with that though, because later on they get him to assassinate somebody, right. and it was supposed to be not the person but his family, because it will destabilize the guy in charge, and then everything will fall yeah. around him. It kills your spirit. Totally. Yeah, that's, that's what he person. said to kill your loved one. So I, that was a theme in this that like you don't kill the person you want dead, especially yeah. if he's not the best hacker in the world. You want to kill his fiance, and like you wait for the ring to go on her finger. Like I think he's gonna propose, and when he does, I'm gonna shoot her. Like kind of thing, just to mess with his mind. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then he just lies with her. In I the suppose pool. no one can kill him because if he doesn't check in every three days, yeah. those uh, bombs will go off in but these is that seven before, cities. Is that before or after? I feel like he's turned. Oh, you're I right. I feel like he was a government yeah. agent, and this was his turning point to go rogue. Right. So that <laughs> Even was, though that was a yes. nothing is explained, like this is all hearsay. Like we have. No yeah. idea. Yeah, he could have still been doing that, but here's another thing that Jen said. So she gets shot in the back, and he acts like he's devastated Coming. by this. Ah! He's like, oh. Yes! Yeah. He's straight and Jen out. Said, and holding her. Did he just come? Uh, uh. Like yeah, she said. Yeah. Because yeah. it didn't look like it was. Pain for your heart. Yeah. It looked like it was pain from your cry. That was supposed to be like, uh, you know, like this agony, this moment of agony or whatever. Yeah, like. That was so intense he came. Also, <laughs> too, I don't want to diminish the feelings you would get having your significant other die in front of you, but wouldn't you also kind of hide at that point and think maybe they're going to shoot me next? I don't wouldn't know. You? He seemed like wouldn't he wanted you? to die with her because he know. laid in the water and tried to drown. Yeah, I, I thought, he's, I think he's trying to do symbolism there, like, she's dead. And that I'm dead. Like, yeah, he's holding a bloody flower, and then this is where we see the balls because he's floating next <laughs> yeah. to her, spread legs. I didn't see. see I didn't see that. Part. Oh, it was well. They weren't great. <laughs> they both had nice bombs. But I fine. think it, I think he's trying symbolism, like, oh, she's dead, so I'm dead. So the flowers. He was holding the flower, and like, loves the dead. Blood, like, uh, the blood looks uh, very strategically placed on his face. Too. Yeah, yeah. Like all war paint. I, all I wrote was, "This guy is not romantic. He is straight up nuts." Yeah. Yeah. Because I was like, he's like holding a flower, like he's probably trying to be Mr. Sensitive. Ooh. And I'm like, no, buddy. You're oh, a psychopath. And we have to say earlier on, he mentioned something about shutting down Vegas for two months? Yes. Yes. Shutting down their 
Because that's worse than 9 11. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's the scene coming up. Okay, so we're at this scene now. So he goes to Vegas, and this is another weird scene where he meets with a guy, but he won't meet in the building because he says there could be uh, wiretaps in there and skeletons. I'm not going in your office buildings, I know they're all bugged. Not to mention the skeletons that are in there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but the fuck before he gets to Vegas, he and he changes out of his four license plates. Yeah. He says, "I'm constantly changing my identity," mm-hmm. and then he goes into the rest stop and changes his shirt, yeah. <laughs> as if putting on a blue golf shirt as opposed to a black tank top. Oh, right. gonna no change one will you notice. Like, yeah. like girls, like in movies when they do that, they like dye their hair black. I was thinking like, he was gonna. Blonde. I thought it, when I said to yeah. Corey, I was like, some a totally different guy is gonna walk out. Like yeah. I'm gonna yeah. be the same guy. <laughs> But no, nope. he just came out in a golf shirt. <laughs> and they didn't, like, they focused on this. Was that the scene where, like, they showed him walking in? Yeah, they showed him walking in yeah. and then he walked out. Yeah. That scene lingered a lot. I was uh, like, that was unnecessary. But also, he changed super fast, too. Yeah. <laughs> like, Typical, it was so man. terrible. But then you get to the point, and this is the very first dialogue in this movie. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's upsetting. <laughs> yeah. The rest is just him narrating. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's, like, three scenes where there's actual conversation yeah so this is where him and another guy talk about it's the same ra- i don't even like i got so bored during the scene i was like i can't even keep track of what they're saying but he's meeting with like an like a cia agent i think i yeah. don't know and that's why he didn't want to go into the office yeah he used to work right. there oh that's right yeah <laughs> so too many skeletons and closets yeah <laughs> i don't like going to places where i've been fired from either feel sad. yeah but also they get in this big talk and we get another monologue about how this the war is all biochemicals now and on the internet and nobody knows it and they're all stupid but i know and so i don't even know what he's talking this guy about the vegas job i guess but there's multiple vegas jobs all i wrote here was it was chemically biological it's going to be worse than 9-11 because they're taking out half of the Las Vegas Strip. strip. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Not people, power. Yeah. Well, maybe. Yeah. I don't... Yeah. We never know what his... He does go around throwing anthrax at people. Uh, yeah. What? Like, anthrax is like... I know anthrax itself you can't come in contact with, and it's high, but it's not like it spreads. Like, if one person has anthrax, it's not like it it's causes... It's contagious. Yeah, yeah. It's not like, oh, <laughs> you cough on another person and they have it, and yeah. then it spreads. Yeah. Like <laughs> what yeah. was this movie made? I should have looked that Probably up. Probably right after nine yeah. eleven, because he was like, "Oh yeah," well, <laughs> because didn't he say, "Yeah, it's going to be worse than nine 11 And then, or oh, and like, other uh, d- yeah, disaster that happened after nine yeah. eleven yeah. that were stopped. He is planning something very big, bigger than nine eleven, or any of the other larger catastrophes we caught in time after nine eleven. Yeah, like yeah. doesn't roll off the tongue, nice. Cool. Very vague. Yeah, yeah. doesn't roll off the tongue. <laughs> yeah. And he also says, like, I think he mentions there's one guy behind all these attacks now after 9-11. That this are has 9/11 to have, this has to have happened at least after Katrina, because he oh, mentions he does, Katrina. So, yeah, oh, that's, that's right. So it's a lot more modern so than it should be. So it's in the least. last 10 years. This is horrendous. Are you ready for this? Yeah. I don't know. Actually, throw out some guesses here. When do you think this was So named? when was Katrina? 2005? Oh, damn it. Uh, <laughs> so is it 2006? Yeah, it's 2005. Oh, okay. So to, this me, is, does, right. to me, it looks way older. I thought it would have been like 1984. <laughs> 2005. And, yeah. and it's a magical movie because it's just telling about all the major disasters that's going to happen. I gotta, I gotta, okay, I'm going to check the, the Rotten Tomatoes. You know, I mean, it's... it's yeah. It, I find... Is this, this is one... Uh, one you know, um, like you said, like uh, like left a uh, right libertarian who hates the government and yeah. you know thinks he's smarter than everyone else, and like he's going on about how it's like, oh, I don't understand. Oh, the government's always always talking about nuclear. They're always concentrating yeah. on nuclear, but no it's, one, you know, like talks about using like biological. Yeah, and, you know, like they're idiots for not using biological weapons. weapons. Yeah, like it's like there's a Geneva Convention which. <laughs> Prevents the use of those. Yeah, yeah. That's they why they talk about it. Yeah, yeah. Talk, they talk about it a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're talking constantly about a lot. talking about mm-hmm. it. And then he starts. I might be jumping, so I apologize. But yeah, then, okay. out of after yeah. that conversation with that old man. Oh, the old man! No, not that old oh, man. The, other the old first, man. The, the 
<laughs> We're getting to him very soon. I yeah. know. But then he, it's well, I guess it actually movie. comes up right after this because then he gets the power to cure the sick. Yes. 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 yes, we are the old man. Okay. We are the old man. <laughs> <laughs> I just, like I love this guy who. It just hang like, out under a rock. He's just supposed Look to. I don't his know. Best life. Well, apparently everyone hangs out under rocks because <laughs> you know, like that's the thing to do in the Las Vegas Strip is to go hang out in rock under rocks. And this old guy who looks like they were they were like the casting call was for old man in his sixties looks like a prospector. Yeah, you know, or Santa Claus. Because this guy was was straight up like had like the big old beard or whatever, and he's just sitting there in jeans and like a t shirt or whatever. Yeah, looks like he should have been wearing like looks like someone should have killed him. <laughs> For sympathy, <laughs> someone does kill him. Yeah. God, <laughs> yeah, I guess. I want to talk about this death. I I want to say first though, and he hands him a shiny rock. He I want to, when he sees him, he comes up to him with a gun, and he says his inner monologue is, "You don't look like a terrorist to me, old man. You don't look like a terrorist to me." And then like. Just leaves them. Like, yeah. not like, hey, buddy, what are you doing up here? You, anything? Like, no, nah, he doesn't look like a terrorist. I'm going to climb up this rock. Don't worry. And leave this yeah. guy here. Yeah. The, so let's talk about the guy's death. Because he stands up. Yeah. And I wrote, <laughs> and I wrote worst fall ever, oh, no. shot to eagle. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was thinking, oh, well, at least he's trying to make it seem like this man's spirit's going into the sky or something. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It was like it showed him stumble, but it, it didn't even show him fall. Oh, it just, just showed, so, it just oh. showed him he stumbling. He legitimately just tripped. Exactly. <laughs> it cut away and it cut like, back, uh, and he's on the ground yeah. with what is clearly ketchup on his head. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> like Dead. dying. He's dying. dying. Yeah. Because he hands him a rock. Right. He's like, take this rock. It's mm-hmm. Like that fake gold that you can get in like the. <laughs> Dollar stores or whatever. Yes. Oh yeah, it's clearly pirate. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But nope. he he dies in his arms because doesn't he go down and kind of help him? Or yeah, help him? and carries him down the rock cliff, which he's pretty strong. Multiple times he's shown him carrying people down sides of rocks. But like if he's on his own, nope. Yeah, no. <laughs> even can't go up rock, can't go down. No, yeah, yeah. He needs that extra weight to keep him like sturdy on yeah, the ground. Exactly. <laughs> oh, God. So. That's then. That's the scene with his dead yes. fiance. Is fiance? Well, I just wrote right after the power to cure the, the dead. Sex with his dead wife. Okay, that's oh, coming up. Yeah. That's a little bit of a jump, oh, but I just it? okay. Just because we don't want to miss anything important. We don't know this rock <laughs> cures yet, and it doesn't in the long run. Apparently, yeah, it's but, just a rock. Yeah. So he takes a rock. He buries. He buries this old man. He goes to a river eventually and sees the spirits of his mom and dad. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, mom. What's it like after death? Hey, yeah. dad. Is, is there, there heaven? heaven? Is there heaven? Is there life after death? Dad. Is there a heaven? Tell me. Is and they didn't heaven? answer his questions. In all fairness. No. They just said we're at peace. We're yeah. at peace now. Tell me. Uh, so I need bad. to know. That seems like him working through some personal. Oh, things definitely. Right there. I guess that's what you the can tell. This thing. guy's terrified of death. Like mm-hmm. he's just like, is there heaven? Tell me. Yeah. No, not for you. <laughs> I, I do know the answer to that. Yeah. <laughs> but then, okay. So <laughs> after that, with his mom and dad spirits, who we know they're spirits because they're wearing white. Cloths, yes, yeah. which apparently is the sign of, of the dead. dead. Yeah. You wear white, like what do you call it? Like Korean people at a funeral, yes, <laughs> that's it. That's what you wear, mm. Korean people at a funeral. But mm. we cut to him randomly having a dinner with who? who? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, who was that? I, I picture it as either like relatives, like maybe a relative of the wife, oh, or maybe. neighbors. Yeah, the the kid and then the grandma or but wasn't whatever. The husband didn't he show up later on as one of the guys that were? I think they looked very similar, but I don't think they were. <laughs> they similar. Maybe they were, or I it's don't the know. same <laughs> actor playing different <laughs> yeah, roles. Yeah. Oh, so we just need to set this up. Oh my god! First, he goes into a monologue. And he tells a little girl like he's tell, talking about his job. He's like, "Oh, it's not all explosions." Another like, "It's not explosions. It's not gunfire. It's all chemical and blah 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 based." Yeah. Which I was like, "Why would you tell a little girl this?" Anyway, yeah. he's like. Hey, can you give me some water Here. for my wine glass Why? that's half full yeah, of water anyway? Half full of water. <laughs> yeah, not even empty. Not 
<laughs> even empty. Yeah. And then she 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 goes. She goes. She and goes. then they're and instantly like, by like the way, she got brain cancer. Yeah. yeah. Our daughter Megan was just diagnosed with brain cancer. Oh no, I'm so sorry. The little girl has brain cancer. And he's like, What? Oh like, yeah. I'm sorry. We we missed a point about this dinner. At the very beginning, he actually says, Did you see my parents down by the Oh lake yes, the other yeah, day? that's right. Like it was nothing. Like, like they were there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and then he goes, Oh never mind. Did you see them? My parents? No, no, never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> oh, and they never mind. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they don't care. Because cause their daughter has breast cancer. Actually, brain well, cancer. brain. Brain. Yeah. <laughs> don't be weird. Oh, no. <laughs> Actually, Jen said that earlier. And I, what did she say? I said, does she have breast cancer? Because she was uh, like 10. Yeah. <laughs> Jen, got, Jen got a little, she's like, I'm going to make something to eat. I can't, I got to get away from and this And then movie. I did laundry. Like, yeah. Like, just anything. And then she was like, wait, did I just hear that they said that little girl has breast That's cancer? cancer? <laughs> it's like, no, brain cancer. And then I do it. She also has STDs, but <laughs> it's fine. One of the so oh, this man. scene ends with him holding the magic rock and then putting his hand to her head, yeah, and being like, "Yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I, I cured her brain cancer." Right, and the whole yeah, thank so you, I'm yeah, and thank you. <laughs> like, oh my the god, the show hurts me. <laughs> uh, this is where it cuts to like him talking to his dead wife. He's like, I think I cured a girl of brain cancer today. And this is where we see her body in the body bag, which we saw rustling around earlier. So it's he had sex with that dead body of his wife in the body bag. Yeah, it that's, like, that's kind of what I thought too. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And sometimes so, it has hair. So just, yeah. Sometimes it's just a I think straight up when skeleton. He's sleeping, it's like a. A hair woman and it's her, a woman and, <laughs> and then he has sex with her and then when he's awake he goes to look at her and bone it's it and it's skeleton. like oh it's a skeleton yeah uh, same not part, as no bone muscles at all. I'll just bone it in this <laughs> yeah. big yeah. gaping hole so he's just taking the, what I guess like the pelvic bone and just like mashing that on like his dick <laughs> I feel like that would just be uncomfortable yeah probably I guess maybe like the eye socket <laughs> the ear there's no ear socket oh no no. Well, I'm just thinking small. of that Family Guy episode where they're like, they're doing yeah, it in the, in the ear. ear. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody's Anyways. going to the bone zone, apparently. He is. <laughs> <laughs> he took it to a new level. Yeah. The bone zone. Uh, uh, this is where we get an an- one of the anthrax dealings with the chemicals done at an airport. I was like, could you pick a worse place to do it? I put mini mall. <laughs> but they kept showing airplanes fly oh, overhead yeah, and they were right. in a parking lot. And I'm like, well, I've been hmm. doing it in a parking lot at an airport. I don't know. I, I would like to say what he said and in the exact sure, way that uh-huh. he said it. Airborne anthrax is lethal when inhaled. Be careful! Airborne anthrax is lethal once inhaled. Be careful. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> like, like, he overdubbed the end of that. Like, the <laughs> level, like, he just, like... It oh, was like a like... YouTube video about, like, anthrax. Like... <laughs> <laughs> um, Be careful! And then the lady smokes his car... With her yeah, car. so this is well, we got to set so up the scene oh, for because yeah. oh, she was yeah, a spy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now they're at a mini mall. Oh, sorry, okay, so I'm the sorry. no, no, that's that's all right. That's all right. It, trust it, me, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, if we get if we this jump movie's out. so <laughs> incoherent. The the scene. So we had the anthrax deal yeah. at the airport. Then he went to it looked like a Home Depot parking lot. Like it, anyway. Yes, he's meeting with two people, and apparently he's doing a job for them. But we have, okay, so, and who knows who these people are, but it has this woman attach a bug to a piece of gum and put on front of her cart, yeah. and then she wheels it into his cart as he's meeting with these two guys, sticking right. the bug on the car. Yeah. And she's like, sorry. He's like, oh, no problem. He's like the nicest guy in the world. Like, no problem. And then yeah. he goes to talk to this guy, these two guys about doing this job. And he's being videotaped by a girl... <laughs> in, a in a car, car with a camcorder being not like being the most suspicious person ever yeah <laughs> like, but don't worry about her because she's assassinated yeah she just gets shot in the head I was like who's from nowhere <laughs> yeah, yeah. catched a stray bullet you know yeah. like. but also like that whole scene of her with the cart and like driving into the car she just it, was, like, it would show scene. like far away like her with the car coming up but then it would do like a close up of the car bumping the car and then it would like Go back to like just his face with a blue scar in the background. Like yeah. these shots were not. Oh, they were hilarious at yeah. all. Like, no. but these are some of the better ones because we got yeah. coming up. We have one of the funniest scenes, but 
Yeah. Just end this. So he goes on. He's hired for something, and he's going on about what he has to do. Well, well, before what he has to do, he goes up to him and says his whole resume. He's like, "I can hack. I can do this. I can do chemicals. I can yeah, do blah blah blah, 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 blah." Yeah. And they're like, "We need you for assassination." And he's like, "Okay." But I was like, "Why would you like? Obviously, they know what you can do. Why would you just run it down? Like, yeah. it's really weird." Yeah. yeah. And I, I mean, okay. That whole thing where he picks up the couple and <laughs> oh yeah, well this is that it. woman was the best actor in this entire I, thing. Yeah. I wrote that too. The bride is the best actress in this movie. Yeah, like and hands. We down. should set that up first. Oh yeah. I just want to say back to the parking lot where he's actually getting the job. I love one scene where like they're just it's three guys standing there and he looks at one of the guys in the suit and he goes, "You stay back." And like the guy's like. <laughs> Just standing there, like, and then okay. they're like, "Let's keep walking," and then it keeps yeah. cutting, cutting to them, like, just standing there, yeah. not walking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, he's like, "I don't trust this place." There's, you know, like yeah. wire typing and stuff going. On. But he doesn't actually do anything to walk away from the car. Can I just say something really hilarious? Yeah. What? So not the one that was actually where they showed the most, but in that scene where they were showing the wedding chapels is actually the wedding chapel where me and Corey got married. Shut the fuck yeah. up! The one with all Shut the, the fuck up! What? The one no. with all the lattice? That's, it's it, not it's, the it's a stock footage shot. It's not the one they yeah. actually end up at. But we but were it, like, oh my word. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> what? All of our wedding pictures are taken with that gross lattice. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, when did you get married? What year? Uh, putting you on the spot. I know. So it was... 2012. Oh, okay, I was gonna say there was no. <laughs> no, there were. That'd be if hilarious. Shots of this movie happening. You're like seeing you in the background, just yeah. hanging out. Yeah. It's that like now so... we understand why this guy is. That's so uh, funny. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah, so this is the whole thing. Like, they're killing... He's hired to kill somebody in somebody's family. Be- yeah. to, and he fi- First, I just want to say, he finds the bug planted. That's just a scene that is nothing. He's like, yeah. I, I couldn't... I couldn't let them know, but I found the bug. And he just it's takes it off. That huge <laughs> wad of gum on the side of the <laughs> car. car. Yeah. yeah. And then he goes... His whole plan, he goes and goes to a car valet. <laughs> and he goes and he gives the guy 200 bucks. He's like, I'll be back in an hour with the car. Here. Take this two hundred dollars, and he takes a Rolls Royce. Right, and the couple that was in the Rolls Royce like goes yeah. in for dinner. Yes, and he's like, "I'll have it back before they're done dinner." Yeah, nice, nice dude, nice. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, and that, the, that guy's like, okay. smoke. She got no, yeah. she got out of that car like. I know. Damn, I was bro. like, that dress, man. You yeah. that dress, yeah. you wear it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that that person was filmed without their knowledge, probably. <laughs> or it's the same actress that they that they've used this. Whole, like maybe it's the same actress for all the films. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, Just except for the place. hooker, which was obviously a man. <laughs> <laughs> so he gets the car. He poisons strawberries very de- delicately with a needle. Yeah. He poisons strawberries. He goes to the wedding chapel, says that he is the driver for the couple out front, and then takes them. Well, I guess he's taking them back to the hotel. Yeah. Once they get in the car, it's almost like they're driving. Like they're not driving. You see a you see a curb, <laughs> but he's reacting like. They're driving. driving. Like, they're reacting like they're driving down a road. Everything yeah. they're yeah. saying. Just ten more minutes or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And would you Not have moving. that much remorse that shortly, like, they're both like, what have we done? <gasps> yeah, it was like, literally, okay, it showed them coming out of the chapel, happy, Love, smiling. Kissing. And loving. then they got in the car and she's like, what did I do? Yeah. I barely know you. I've only known you three yeah. days. Two days. <laughs> Two days. I just wrote down this part because I thought it was, I thought it was legitimately the only good line in the whole movie <laughs> that was well written that was kind of funny and that was literally, she's like, why did I marry you? I've only known you for two days and then our Aaron goes, he goes, well, it's Vegas. What took you so long? And I was yeah, like, that's kind of funny. Of I can't believe we did this. I've only known you for two days. That's all it takes in Vegas. Why did you wait so long? And, and that's the dude, it. That's, the, yeah. the new husband is like, I can't deal with this. I need a drink. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, it begins. Yeah, yeah, this is great already. Yeah. And then he goes, <laughs> champagne? Would you like some champagne? Yeah, he's like, champagne. <laughs> 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 
Like, it's a parody movie. Like I also uh, want to say, too, before they got in the car, he goes up and he introduces himself to them. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we said And that. there was another couple there. Yeah, that's... Yeah. And it was almost like he was like, which one? I'll go with these guys. Like, yeah. Like, he... he Clearly was like, okay, here are two couples. It could be either one. I'll go with these guys. Yeah. yeah. I got the vibe that maybe I was like, maybe he got, he thought they were, the other two were just people that were their friends. No, oh, he said yeah. congratulations to you. Oh, did he? Okay. Like, yeah, he shook their hand. And okay. He was like, congratulations to yeah. you guys. Yeah. And then, okay. So he poisons them with the strawberries. And so the guy says, I don't feel well. He passes out immediately. The girl passes out. But he takes the guy's body and puts it in the trunk. Yeah. And then she wakes up and she's like, where are we? Where we're go- where are we going? Yeah. And then he's like, we got drunk last night and we got married and we're yeah. married now. It's Vegas, baby. baby. We're in Las Vegas. Hey, last night we went to the club, danced a lot, drank a lot, laughed a lot, had sex out by the fountains. Then we went down to the strip and we got married. Hey, this is Las Vegas, baby. <laughs> it's Vegas, baby. We danced all night and, and had, had sex, sex in the by fountain. The water, yeah, yeah, by the fountain. <laughs> Behind the fountain, we had sex. And oh, then he yells, it's Vegas, baby. Baby. And she, I just want to say, I identify with her in some ways. She was like, no, I, I really do want to be married to you. Yeah, like, yeah, like, I don't this poor girl was like, okay, yeah. I guess I'm married now. Yeah. Better accept it. <laughs> this is my life. Didn't question it at all. Yeah. So he gets, and we we mentioned earlier he has six cell phones. We should yeah. elaborate. They're flip phones, like they're <laughs> old school. His laptops are huge, and the satellite dishes are huge. And his and he has flip phones, and somehow he's controlling the world with yeah. these things with just those two. Because he's and a genius. Sense. That's right. He's the top of his class in computer science, <laughs> and he's a fighter pilot, which never comes in handy. Never in comes back. <laughs> no. No. There's never a scene where he has to like drive it. So after he talks to his girl, he's like, he calls somebody. He's like, I got the package, and then he finds out he got the wrong <laughs> yeah, couple. <laughs> what do you mean I picked up the wrong couple? Shit, the wrong couple. So then he he lays her. Okay, okay is the guy dead? Is Lord or just passed well, we- He did help himself get into the truck. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like as he was dragging him to put him in the trunk, you could see him like lift his arm up to pull his upper body. Yeah, yeah. And, and I was like, I think they're just passed out. I think, but I don't know. But then he lays her beside him, and here's and your you husband now. You get the now. creepiest shot ever of her just being like. Yeah, 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 to like a like guy watching him passed out, and he just goes, "This is your husband." After just saying they got married, yeah. like he's like, "We're married now." Like, no, but we're not married. Get out! <laughs> Get out! Get out! The marriage is over. Get out! Maybe he used some biochemistry weapon to like paralyze them and mess with her mind. <laughs> Dear God! So he finds out the couple he's supposed to get are at the lake. Mm. So he finds them on top of a rock, and they had a suicide pack. And apparently, that suicide pack is to shoot each other right square in the yeah. forehead. And, that, and they're still sitting upright. Yeah, but also it's like <laughs> if you come across a body with two bullet holes directly in the front of their heads, would you say ah oh, suicide? <laughs> well, classic no! suicide. This is what it looks like every time I commit suicide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. I mean, yeah. And, and they had red paint dead. on their faces. I knew it. Yeah. When, they, when yeah. they showed the shot of them from the back side, oh, I was knew like, it. they're dead. Yeah. There's no way those two people are alive. But so, he was supposed to kill them. So who ki- they killed them because they knew what was coming? They knew what was coming. Apparently, I don't... Is was... They knew that one of them was going to die to cause pain for the other one. So I they have. Died. So did they both yeah. have guns and they both like... Well, all it showed the guy out. dropping was the... F- flowers yeah <laughs> like that beautiful right. shot where it's just his hand was in the corner and yeah. he just lets go was... yeah there was no it's like i didn't see a gun but apparently they had a suicide pact for reasons mm. for reasons yeah uh i stopped taking notes at this point yeah <laughs> i think get... i started doing laundry because i go back at a totally different spot oh we we actually were coming up on another That's i thought that was pretty funny too. He does the thing where he rubs. I took off, but Jen saw this. Like he rubs anthrax on a guy's arm. This is where he does that. So very swiftly. But this is where he has another thing he has to do. So he calls a call girl who apparently is either at the win or she's at Trump Towers in Vegas. Yeah. 
And he's like, I got a job for you. No sex. A hundred bucks. Yeah. And, okay. So, she agrees to this. She has got the sexiest voice. (laughs) I was like... I wish I could have remembered what she said, but it was so bad. Oh, it was terrible. Oh, it was basically like, oh, but I'll come see you afterwards. (laughs) Whatever you want, baby. I'll pay you $100. Only a hundred bucks? Come on, baby. It's a setup. No sex. Sure, but I want to see you afterward. Thank you. Like, <laughs> like, she's like, oh, like, yeah, we'll hang out after. But yeah. it kept, yeah, because it didn't show her. It just showed her voice and, like, shots of, like, voice. the Trump Tower. Yeah. And, like, different buildings in Las Vegas. Which is hilarious. Trump, like, oh. just had to ruin, I mean, yeah, he ruined this movie. <laughs> she was a regular sure. of his. Oh, they, maybe. They, they clearly had a, well, we, like a, yeah, we yeah. find out later that she was probably actually a co-worker yeah because she was okay. the best CIA agent yeah you know ever or something yeah another one of our best agents lost or something so yeah. we should set it up <gasps> okay. For, yeah. so he goes and steals a Ferrari after talking to this girl because he's the best car thief because he has a yeah he has a, a little computer thing that he can unlock cars with and yeah right. remote Keyless entry, which didn't yeah. exist in the 1980-whatever uh, yeah. Ferrari that he chose. <laughs> yeah. But never mind that. Yeah. So he steals a Ferrari. Uh, at one point, he, his monologue said, I know everything, and that's more than the government knows. I know everything. That's more than the government knows. Yeah! <laughs> which is... Yeah, you still say give it to that government, bud. <gasps> oh, my God. So, he stands his ground. He also calls a guy, <laughs> and he's like, you got to come, like, you're coming with me, like, you got to meet me here. He's like, no, you have to, or, like, kind of threatens him. He picks this guy up, gets in a car, who has, like, we find out it's a fake goatee, but it looked like, it looked like he put tape on it his face. It looked plastic. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, that guy. Yeah. Yeah. And then... So the whole thing he paid the call girl to do was he took this, he was driving with this guy, he parked in a parking lot, and um, he parked in a parking lot and hired this call girl slash agent to... Slash drag queen? Yeah, slash drag queen, to get the guy's attention in the passenger seat so he could inject Inject. him in the neck with uh, like a tranquilizer. He says tranquilizer. Seems like a really... A lot, like, why wouldn't you just... You just wasted a hundred bucks on that? Yeah. I have a very interesting point to make about that scene. But I feel like, I just want to say, I feel like he would have been like, look over there. Yeah. And then done that exact same thing. Yeah. 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 So anyway, sorry, you're... you're um, she was wearing a red dress. <laughs> <laughs> Your red dress theory? I think every movie we do, there has to be some sort of red, red dress. dress in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that red dress? Didn't you tell me that means that they're sex. ready for Which sex? Which makes sense because she's, she's trying to lure her. him away. So yes. what does that mean in Resident Evil? Uh, <laughs> does that mean she's ready for sex with the zombies? Maybe. Ready. But then we lose her because doesn't it uh, cut to a clip of her dead? Yeah. So, so what happens, wig off? Yeah, so yeah. what happens is he kidnaps this guy. He takes... The guy to uh, the two agents he talked to before, and is like, "I got the guy," and he's like, "But now everybody will is after me because they know I have him." And I think he, he's trying to imply that like he has this very important person who looks like a skid, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I, I gotta say, a hilarious scene where he pulls up, he pulls up with this guy with a goatee, and the two to the two agents who are just walking down like yeah. a weird I don't even know where they are outside a building and he's like who's this guy and he pulls the goatee and, <laughs> and mustache, mustache off, off. And like, oh my god oh my god and they got their guns <laughs> holy shit it's him it's him put your guns away <laughs> they got their I guns. just wrote like Clark Kent <laughs> yeah they're like it's him and he's like put your guns away like they know I have them now so right. it's like there's gonna be heat on me but, yeah. since, but since they knew I feel like it was something that they know that they have this, that he has this guy that, and he, they know that this call girl slash guy helped them get this guy, so they killed the call girl because they could mm. get to her. That's what I think they were implying. Her wig was off. Like, I don't understand that. Like, were they just like, I'm going to kill you now, but first I need to figure out your natural hair color. No. Ah! Like your identity is like this guy with the goatee. We don't know who you are unless we take <laughs> off this yeah. Take it off. 
before she died. Who knows? Maybe she's no. poisoned I'll never know. Maybe there will be a sequel to this. God. I hope so. So that happens, and we don't really ever find out what happens to this guy he has. But no. now he's working with the same two agents to take down the anthrax dealers. Like, it, it makes no, like, there's no <laughs> coherent. But they're in kind of what looks like a setup paintball course. Yes. Like, it has, it has the bad guy anthrax dealers, and it has the agents, and they all show up, and they're hiding in these, like, dilapidated weird buildings in the middle of the desert they all get out they all are like gun to gun and they're about to do the deal and he drops the canister that he's getting the anthrax for and he's like (laughs) it's cracked run and so (laughs) both sides run backwards and start shooting each other hard cut instantly like bang 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 hard cut and you it's just him standing there on the cell phone it's done broke open run kill them went down yeah! and they yeah. apparently just killed all the guns all the anthrax dealers the guns you could have googled gun sound effects yeah and just put that in your movie and that's what it sounds and like and like i'm not no word of a lie they're holding <laughs> guns the vials drop they say they run in opposite directions and he says run hard cut in two seconds yeah. of yeah. you hear gunshots for like two seconds and the gunfight's over, and nobody on the, his side got killed. Yeah. Oh, my God. Then he's like, here's the anthrax, and here's all this stuff, and you take credit for it. I don't need it. And yeah. he walks away, and then the older agent goes on for, like, five minutes about, that guy's so smart. I'm happy to have him on our side. He's the smartest. He's such a good hacker, and he's great. Like, it's like his, it's like his wingman. He's like, and he's good in bed, and his penis is bigger than any man's ever had. Like, it just yeah. seems like that's all he's like. And he's like, oh my it's just weird. Yeah. I uh, stopped taking notes here. I'm yeah. very <laughs> close to stop taking notes, but I still have some notes. He at one point now says, I'm so confused and depressed with my double life. I'm so confused and depressed at my double life. Mm. He's telling his <laughs> dead wife. <laughs> what <laughs> double you life? You don't have a double no. life. <laughs> he does have one weird, weird <laughs> life. <laughs> you know, there's not really. Yeah. Not really two sides oh to it. God. So, but, but it is because what he wants his life to be is just a simple, happy life with a family and children. And yet here he is on the other side of the secret, secret, secret agent. Yeah. yeah. But he also, he, he's constantly contradicting himself because he's like, I live a simple life and I do this. And he's like, I'm so alone. I like my life. I do the things that I want, yeah. but I hate doing the things that I do. Yeah. Like it's, but it's I hate the, the government, yeah. but I'm a genius working hacker. With, yeah, and, but I'm working with the government. And it's but all so the I'm the most decorated hero, but I'm a bioterrorist. Yeah, there was at one point a part where he said, "I find myself having dreams and nightmares." And nightmares, nightmares are dreams. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, this is where he dreams setting- give you boners. Nightmares <laughs> don't. Sometimes mm. he Ooh. sets <laughs> he sets up that he's he's hatching disasters all over the wor- world to cover up what he's going to do in Vegas. Yeah. That's what? weird. Yeah. Because, yeah, yeah, he's on the <laughs> railroad tracks. He's like, I'm just going to do this. So throw everybody off my scent of what I'm going to do in Vegas. And, yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Also, this is where he also finds out that people are in the hills trying to kill him. because, But they're having lunch. And they can <laughs> all their guns against a rock. We never see these people. Yeah. But he's he comes up. He's like, did I disturb you? I didn't mean to disturb your lunch. And then it just shows... His body vibrating as if he has a machine gun, but yeah. you don't ever see him see, wheel yeah. one. You just yeah, see him yeah. shaking and then blood yeah. splatters on his face. <laughs> Again, sound effects. Um, oh so apparently, God. yeah, four guys went into the woods, or, I mean, to the desert to find him and kill him. Yeah. They put their shot, they put their machine guns down for lunch and then they are assassinated by him because they didn't see him because of his invisible shield <laughs> yes that's right, right? that's right he, I just, forgot about he that. just came up out of nowhere dear god <laughs> um he all this is where he puts on his um, metal vest uh, his metal vest oh uh, yes metals vest, vest of like metals oh uh, yes. yes all the medals that any one man can get yeah. all eight of them from military <laughs> service <laughs> yeah <laughs> as he's listing them off he must have listed off 15 or 20 medals yeah but he only has, has eight. eight yeah yeah 
Some of them double up. Yeah. <laughs> I think he just found them at an antique store and was like, I'll take these. Yeah. And this is where we get stock footage of like the Lincoln Monument and, and stuff like that, where he's like this proud American. And I just wrote down proud American terrorists. Yeah. yeah it's really But weird. he does like oh caress the earth and is like, I love my land. This is my Yeah, country. he has more. <laughs> oh, 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 I don't I want was, to destroy my country. Yeah. I will. Uh, before I get into that part, which I think is the best part of the movie. Uh, he mentions he can set off an EMP attack. Like, Electromagnetic blast. Yeah, and nobody will know it was him. I was like, if you're the top hacker in the world, maybe people yeah. would put you on a list yes. of suspects that yeah, could do this. Yeah. I just thought that was weird. Um, also, Don't this is like where that? he gets yeah. this is where he gets the call that the girl died of brain cancer. Well, it implies that the girl died of brain cancer. Like, no, no way! I cured her. It can't be. Yeah. So there goes that storyline. Oh, he kept saying that's impossible. That can't be. And he says it over and over. And he's like yelling it. And then he and then it cuts. And he's like, I gotta take this call. No, that, that's impossible. How can that be? That's impossible. It can't be. No. That can't be. I cured her. I cured her. I've got to take this other call. Like somebody's calling yeah, him? Like yeah, he's, he's like, like oh. oh, he can't be. Oh, sorry. Oh, you still there? <laughs> sorry, i got to take this yeah. call. That's basically what it yeah. is. It's so funny. I love how abrupt it is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. So this is where he's like, I can't go on like this. I think he's like, he's being a whatever he is. And he just takes off running down the hill, yelling. He's like, ah! But he's just yelling. And he runs. It's like a good minute and a half. <laughs> I'm just running, yeah. yelling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, ah! And he just like runs so- by. guys like that's impressive because he runs for a long time yelling oh it's so great i could not could not stop laughing at that part i could watch that on a loop over and over again (laughs) so good it was definitely Uh, one of the highlights of that movie uh, Movie. So, so he awful. he takes a, a chip out of his arm. Apparently, I don't know what. I guess so. Yeah, he's like he didn't really say what. Like, it was. don't need this anymore. Yeah. And then he finds a tracker stuck with gum on his boot, and he's like, "They're coming for me. They found me. They tracked me." I was like, "You didn't notice a big wad of yeah. gum with a <laughs> walking on that?" You found the one that you had to dig out of your arm. Yeah, I think that was. I, I think he, he put knew that, that was there. there. Yeah, or maybe he put that there. Yeah, who knows? But yeah. The gum, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, is that the CIA's like you know like standard procedure for tracking people? Big wads of gum. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. With trackers in them. Like. Is that how they do it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so this is where my notes kind of take yeah. off too. Yeah. So basically, he does. The, my last notes, like he doesn't want to do the Vegas. Whatever he has planned for Vegas, he says he can't yeah. stop. What he's been the cover up attacks. <laughs> the rest he's of the been, world gets yeah. killed, but Vegas is fine. So now he doesn't want to. <laughs> no, he doesn't want his main attack on Vegas anymore. And so you got. We were watching them when you guys showed up. So I walked in. I knocked on Corey and Jen's door to the sound of "Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you?" So I guess there was some kind of attack. <laughs> One of the greatest moments is he calls all the heads of yes. whatever. Oh, it, my it, God. <laughs> all the agencies. No, he calls all the agencies, all these all, all, one black guy and all these other white older males. And he's like, he's holding his like, I think he's only holding four cell phones, but he's holding well, them. Are. No, yeah. three. Three, okay. he's so talking to and the other two he was just holding. Okay, yeah. Conference call. And that's, he's like, I have you all on conference call. I'm calling all of you simultaneously by way of conference call. 
conference call. Conference call. Conference call with one salvo had been around for a very yeah, long time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if that, I was like, I wonder if this guy really thinks this is what conference call is. Yeah. When you hold multiple cell He's phones like, to your face. You're probably wondering how I all have you on the phones right now. <laughs> but it's because I am, you know, it's like really, really complicated. Call. Yeah. 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 I'm such an amazing hacker. I invented conference call. I invented holding four, three phones, phones in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, it's so just, great! Oh my god! It's so great! And so he tells them to shut down the plans, I guess, whatever his plans were, and they're just like, and it just like does these one shots of every one of them being like, get ready to evacuate the hotels. Yeah. Prepare to evacuate the hotels on the strip. Prepare to evacuate the hotels on the Las Vegas Strip. Prepare to evacuate the hotels on the strip. Get, get ready yeah. to evacuate the hotel. Code orange. Yeah, we yeah. need to bring it to code orange. Code orange. Code, code red. red. <laughs> yeah, one guy just seemed weird, like he didn't know where he was. Like it was. <laughs> <laughs> like, are we just naming red. colors? We're just naming colors, yeah. are we? Go to code red. Oh it was really weird. Anyway, I kind of lost track at this point. I was like, so he doesn't go through with everything. He kind of comes to terms like, with his I wife. I hope to show what side I'm on. Really on. Let's not talk about all the things I've done to different countries and the USA. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just, all the things know. that are happening right now. Because of me. To distract from turning off the power on the half of the Las Vegas Strip. For yeah. two but, months. But... Than all these other like there's like bombs blowing up and forest yeah. fires. Those are fine, <laughs> but pe- heaven forbid, yeah. Las Vegas lose its power for two months. And then really, it's just doesn't he just see his ghost or his uh, former child spirit? He sees the yeah former child spirit. Uh, he sees <laughs> dead girlfriend and he sees old dead prospector man. <laughs> Yes. Cuz he's That's like his favorite character. I really need you right now, right old man. Yeah. And he finds the rock in a tuna can that he's like Oh my god, he digs forever through like endless tuna cans like, in the chunk it. of his car. Why don't you just when you stop to stop to tuna. change your identity, like throw out some tuna cans. Yeah, well, clearly he's saving them to uh, turn him into a depot <laughs> at some point for the 5 cents. But we also know this rock stands. doesn't work. Because he tried to cure brain cancer with it, and it yeah. didn't ha- So why do you still have this so, rock? You know, he's like, all right, rock, you let me down the first time. <laughs> yeah. Now then, let's... All right, now I know. You're not a cancer rock, but you can do other stuff, yeah. right? <laughs> I'm be able to raise my dead wife from. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, like... And then walking down the hill with his wife... Oh yeah, it yeah. Was, seemed very difficult. Oh, and then and she's, she's gone. And, and then, she's gone. Yeah. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Where'd my wife go? Oh, she's here. Oh, she's gone. Oh, and we have like his seven-year-old self in the car, car. in the road, not in the car, <laughs> in, in the, the car, car and the road, in the road <laughs> driving away, and then the wife's in the back seat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, at Creepy the arm, car. like because he's driving with his hand. On the 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 yeah. in the median or whatever, like in the the middle of the car, just sort yeah. of like on the armrest. Yeah, yeah, and then she grabs his hand. Who drives? Yeah, with one arm like <laughs> palm up yeah. Yeah. on on the armrest. I'm like ah, this is so comfortable. How I'm resting my arm. Yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. And then yeah, creepy arm coming through. And then they like held hands, but like it was just interlacing like, fingers. It was like lingering. Like they didn't quite close their all their hands. Hand away. shots were very awkward. God, yeah. what was with the awkward hand shots? And they were he quite didn't few. know what to do with his hands. <laughs> I have a very quite important know question to too, which I meant to bring up before. Why was he always sleeping beside his car? And help me with blood. Yeah, yeah. The, the multiple times he woke up. I feel like he was blacking out, and he would wake up by his car, and he always wrote in blood. Help me! Like it was Where like did his blood come from. Maybe yeah. he killed somebody. Maybe and his wife, dead wife. Oh, I forgot to mention the part where his dead wife, like, like <laughs> he he tripped and fell in the second most awkward trip and fall <laughs> in this movie, and scraped his arm along the horn of a big horn sheep oh, skull. Oh yeah, yeah, that's yes. and cut his arm up, and then the ghost of his dead wife came and, and went. Whoop! You know, and just like waved her hand over his arm and he was healed. Yeah. At no other point, you know, when he's digging in his other arm, you know, for the the secret tracker or whatever, has she, you know, like healed him. But it's like, oh, big horn sheep scratch? Yeah. (laughs) Got that. Got it. Is the whole point of this movie that he was trying to bring her back to life? I have no idea. I don't think she was back to I life at the end. I don't know if there was a point of this no, movie. Because she said she did say, no, no, I can't. 
I don't yeah. want that. Like, yeah. when he yeah, said, he I was... can bring you back. And he kept it... apologizing to her. And she was apologizing to him. Yeah. And who cares? I, told, I think people it, yeah. should just stay home. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the end of the movie was his acceptance that she was dead, but I Maybe. don't know. Like, the, anybody's guess is good because... The, this is so incoherent that holy fuck it's insane what an acid trip of a movie it is it is it's like they just told someone to just do what you think I don't even know like it's like a high I don't school think movie there was project. multiple people involved though this guy wrote just directed him, just him. yeah just him and like begged how did this movie get made like how did it get made yeah. I don't I don't understand. Apparently, he used to be an architect, so he's probably... I think... Well, I think you can make this movie for probably $500. This movie was probably not made for $6 million. Yeah. Yeah. And all you have to be is in the desert, illegally film in Vegas, and get all... His stock footage budget must have been through the roof. Like, yeah. that's the it. fucking roof. Yeah. It must have been where most of his money went. Yeah. It had an audience... Sc- okay, guess what the audience score was on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh. 24? What's high and what's low on Rotten Tomatoes? Well, 100's the highest. And, uh, like, for good? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm... And it, it has a weird rating system, too. It's So, 100% fresh on Rotten Tomatoes is somebody liking the movie, so that's a rating of 6 or more. Mm-hmm. I know it's a weird rating system, but it is kind out of, of percentage. I'm, I mean, I'm going to say something retarded, like, not retarded, I'm not allowed to say that word anymore. <laughs> um, like, 65% of people like this movie. Okay, what's your guess? I'm going to say 34. I said 24. 48. Gross. That makes no sense. How the heck? <laughs> Were these just people going to make fun of it? It must be. Must be. Must be. I, I... Maybe this movie really touched them and they were like, yeah, this guy is struggling and he's trying to find his inner son. Yeah, I God, too I have can't... had my wife assassinated in front of me or fiance. <laughs> and, and yeah, and he's just really... They just really relate to this guy yeah, and his double life. Aaron Brown. I genuinely felt like I wasted an hour and a half of my life. Was... And my life was pretty dumb and stupid, mm-hmm. and I felt like uh-huh. I wasted it. Yeah. I don't think I would recommend this, but if you can find a super cut of things online about it, I would recommend that part. Because I, I, if you can just look up Neil Breen running and yelling in the in the desert, yes. <laughs> it's almost worth worth watching this movie. I'll no, try to add in some sound bites for this one. Yeah, I feel like we need it. To I think so. Just, just our... the way they like dialogue is said in whispers and then screams for no reason yeah. and then sometimes he's like a cocky actor like that whole when he's trying to when he's the driver and just like telling the girl that they slept together like it's so weird it's so like, weird yeah and like to think this is good enough to show your balls in like it's just and I really think we like us four could make this movie better with I our think we iPhones. should make this movie, movie better we, we, we could make a movie like this and it'd be better. Oh, 100 percent And we wouldn't even have to write a script. We could just We could just do just, it. I don't think he wrote a script. You wanna go so into point I'll play the Park. hooker. Uh, I, will, I will play all the other characters and you guys sex can worker, just sorry. play. <laughs> Hooker's no, bad. no, no. So the sex worker has to be agent. played by a man because uh, it was played by a man. You guys both have yeah. beards. I have to play the hooker. <laughs> <laughs> Corey can play. Oh yeah. I'll have to go get a Brazilian man. <laughs> oh my, my dear God! It was just—it was a dumpster fire. That's the only way. I actually think I stopped taking notes because I was just like, you know, when you're like staring at a car accident. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like you're staring at like a disaster, and you can't. It's a train wreck. You can't. You can't look, look away. away. But that's what it was. As a person who has to take, because I, I yeah. recap, I have to take extensive notes. I was watching this. And I was like, oh, I. I can't like it's it's impossible and it's impossible like because I got to write and every time I look down something yeah. ridiculously visual would it happen. It was so hard to keep up. There yeah, were so many flashbacks too. Like you couldn't tell which timelines you were on. I know. Well, another very like, stupid oh. thing about it is too is that he basically tells sorry tells us all about his fiance being killed and then shows it. It'd been much better if. He didn't say it right off the bat, but alluded to maybe having used to have a girlfriend and then show up. But we know going in that scene, she's going to get killed. Like, right. It's just weird. He really wanted to show his balls. Oh, yeah, apparently. And she really didn't want to show her boobs. So. Mm-hmm. You know what? I am just so thrilled for her. I know. Like, yeah. whoever you <laughs> she are, a bullet. you yeah. just, you stuck Unlike, to your guns. You had more respect than Lisa. Yeah, Unlike the actress true. in the room <laughs> who will always have it on her resume. Yeah. That's very boobs true. Boobs in the room. Boobs, boobs in the room. room. Boobs in the room. Oh, 
Well, guys, I think that's it. Isn't yeah, it? we can put double down to, to rest. Yeah, let's put this to bed. So yeah. is he, is he a kudo? A let's kudo? dose this no, number No, he doesn't do that on my channel. Oh, mm. never mind. Well, I don't do it all the time. Sometimes... Oh, we're going to do it for this one? A kudo to Lassie on this one? Sure, I will do this. Oh, wow. Well. Uh-uh. <sighs> It probably will get a Cerberus. Who's Cerberus? Where do you find these dogs? You mean the demon dog uh, that from guard, the world? Yes, I will give it that. I feel okay. like that's a cool that... dog. Oh, well, it, it's pretty cool. Yeah. But it's definitely not good. No, it's bad. It's, like this movie, it's, it's bad. bad. Okay, yeah. bad dog. Like bad this teeters on so bad it's good, but it's so much of a slog. You know that, what? Like, I think I, I have a suggestion I'm going to make. All right. This dog. This movie is a poochie. Oh, what's that dog? But I think you need to have potential to be a Poochie. I have a Poochie probably, but I feel like Poochie in that episode of The Simpsons was supposed to be cool and then turned mm-hmm. to be terrible. <laughs> I don't think this had <laughs> ever was, was going to be cool. At any point. It was never going to be cool. Yeah, but I am definitely. I've had Poochie on my brain. I'm gonna. It's coming. <laughs> I'm gonna use it. Yes. Soon. Wow. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, with that said, um, I don't know how we want to do this the next round. Do we want to start over with you? Yeah, we can do, do it. Do you have your movie yet? I do have my movie. Oh, do you want to say All right. So my next movie for the Intoxicated Podcast is going to be <laughs> Birdemic. No. Birdemic. I've Birdemic. Never... Birdemic, yes. I've never heard of this. I've seen it. Is it a horror movie? It is. No, horrifying for your time. <laughs> oh, God. Verdemic is Okay. I've n- I'm scared to look. I'm scared, uh, you know I'm what? scared don't, to Google. Don't, scared. Look, d- don't look at anything. Okay. Don't, don't ruin it for you because okay. it has something amazing that happens. Don't look at any previews. It okay. will ruin it for Just you. Just go in blind. Just go in blind. 100% blind. And okay. I will. it will add to the experience. Right. 100%. Okay. Excellent. I okay. look forward to this. Damn. So, yeah. Right. I guess we need a hashtag. Ooh, yeah, what's the hashtag? Hashtag <laughs> bag tag? Bag tag? Or bag. Something about his bag. bag. bag green, bag. Bo- green bag? <laughs> green bag. Green bag. Green bag. Green bag. Yeah. There it is. Hashtag green, green bag. Green bag. If you made it through this episode, give us a comment with that hashtag. Yeah. Tell us what you thought about that I would that be very curious. Bag. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I found it hard getting through the movie itself, so if you got through this podcast, you're... Yeah, you're an awesome person. You're a yeah. superstar. Yeah, for sure. Um, Corey, what do we have coming up on reviews? Reviews. Uh, this week. Well, I guess this will. This episode will come out. Oh, after, that's right. Yeah, but uh, so if you want to go back, if you haven't downloaded already, me and my childhood friend are back on '90s Proof. Me and Brian Thompson talk about the movie uh, Above the Rim, which probably it was funny that if you heard the she's all that Sarah saying that that movie had an influence on her life very young age and she didn't realize it going back and watching this movie uh, Above the Rim I realized a lot of myself is from this movie excellent and not necessarily in a good way so if you want to learn more about Corey West yes Damn, watch Above the Rim me and Bryant me and Bryant talk about uh, deep shit not deep shit but both how we how we found that this movie has affected my life in a okay. big way and this I will say above the rim me and Bryant this was our childhood movie like this is the uh-huh. movie we from our childhood that we remember the most that we've watched the most uh, it was a really fun podcast to put through uh, yeah. to do to record me and Bryant have big things coming on 90s proof we have some we have confirmed uh, a few very big guests, yeah. so it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Come, coming, coming. It's gonna for, be yeah. Nineties yes. proof is the way to go. So go subscribe over there and make sure you're subscribed here. Yes, make sure you're subscribed to both because we're awesome, right? <laughs> but yeah, thanks guys for putting up with us on um, socials. Yeah, uh, Facebook and Instagram at Intoxicated Podcast and Twitter and underscore Intoxicated and find all the episodes on www.intoxicatedpodcast.com. It should work. If it doesn't, please let me know. That, that's an amazing... Because I'm having a lot of trouble with the website and a lot of frustrations with the... The domain should lead you to the website. It should work. So, But if, if it doesn't, please let me know and I'll look into it. I love that as a tagline. Like, intoxicatedpodcast.com. It should work. It should work. It should work. Because <laughs> I've had a lot of issues. But, um, but yeah, you can find all the episodes on there. And I think that's about it, guys. All right. Ring that bell.